How's it going guys? D here. We missed a week last week, so you got a lot of news coming for you this week. Sit back, enjoy, and let's have some fun with it. First up, Constantine is returning. That's right. The, the John Constantine movie we all know about with Keanu Reeves is coming back. That that does mean that the original film that we had slated for, for Sophie de Russi, it's now being canceled. So that means like we get like John, a Constantine that was black. It's no longer happening. Keanu Reeves is not coming back. He's going to be working with uh, Francis Lawrence again. He's also going to be working with Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams' production crew. So this movie is going to be coming out soon, probably in the next two years. But uh, it's, it's being in production right now. Uh, I, I can't really say if this is a win or a lose for Warner Brothers Discovery. But uh, some fans are happy. Some fans are not so happy. This guy right here. But, you know, we got a new Constantine movie with Keanu Reeves. I think it's a series that's coming out. A series, not a film instead. But it's coming out soon. We're going to be watching it. And we're going to be talking about it. Let's hope they don't disappoint. Next up, Zack Snyder made an appearance in Teen Titans Go. This is a very funny episode. You get to see Zack Snyder do his Zack Snyder thing in full Zack Snyder form. And also you get like a snippet of uh, <laughs> how Zack Snyder would make a Teen Titans episode. It's very dark. It's very gritty. It's very much in the guise of Zack Snyder. So the Zack Snyder bros out there, uh, let's, let's dial it down with the restore the Zack Snyder verse. Because it's already, it's already here. It's already here. And you know, he's still having fun with Warner Brothers. So you know, it's not all bad. Enjoy what you have. Next up, Harley Quinn. 30th birthday is coming soon. That's right, the Harley Quinn, the clown princess of crime, has a birthday coming up in October. It's going to be celebrated at the New York Comic Con, October 7th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Javits Center at the New York Comic Con. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. If you guys are a Harley Quinn fan, congratulations, 30 years, this character going strong, getting more and more popular as she gets older too. That's that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy to see like that Holly Quinn getting her getting her flowers, getting her roses, and like people cheering her on for like so many people just treating her like she was second fitter, second fiddle to the Joker. Next up, Cyberpunk is going hard. Over a million players have been joining the game, as opposed to 86,000 players just right before the anime came out. So as most of you know, Cyberpunk Edge Runner is now here. People are out there talking about it. For me personally, it's one of the best anime series to come out right now, if you want to call it Trigger and what they make anime. But you know, I love the series. I just finished it. Make sure you check out the reviews on TikTok coming out pretty soon. But the game, over a million players are playing this game right now. And like more people are doing it every single day, all because of this anime. This is a very good thing to see. Like it's nice to see fans come out here and show themselves to play this game, to talk about this game, and like, you know, really put it back on the forefront because as many of you know, there was a problem with the game when it first came out, but like, you know, a lot of those problems have been fixed as of late. And like now that more and more people jump on the bandwagon after like all these hiccups are gone, it, I want to see what can happen next with, with uh, Cyberpunk and the anime Cyberpunk Edge Runner. So if you've been playing the game, let me know, leave some comments. And lastly, do a little bit different on this episode today when it comes to the news releases. There's a lot of releases that come out this week. Andor came out with three episodes this week on Disney Plus. So it premiered this week, September 21st. Abbott Elementary dropped this week also. Finally coming back. It's nice to see the Emmy Award winning show coming back, right? A lot of us are happy to see Abbott Elementary. And Iron Man has a new game announced from EA Motive. This is very fun to see. I'm very excited to see what EA can do with their games, with their fan base, and like how people are going to be approaching this game as opposed to the 2008 game that came out i want to see like how like this game really get interactive with marvel and ea motive putting it out there because that uh, if you guys have been noticing disney's been trying to come up with a lot of new games for their marvel franchise and uh, i want to see how it goes a marvel avengers game eh, mixed back but you know this one here could possibly be pretty good it's an iron man game never know let's find out and here we are princess zahita with artists of the day hey I'm Princess Ahida and I'm here to bring you the Artist of the Week. This week, we are featuring an artist by the name of Shakuri. She can be found on Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, YouTube, Twitch, Discord, Artist Nation. She's got an entire link tree that's in the bio of her Instagram. So if you want to check out all of her complete links, check her out there. 
I am a huge fan of this artist's work. From the way that they are able to delicately blend certain colors together, to soften her subject's facial features, to doing just the opposite of that and using really bold colors to highlight certain features, either that person's clothing or their hair color. Um, I spent so long just scrolling down her page looking at all of her work. If you guys are a big fan as well, her commissions are currently open, uh, so you guys can have your own artwork made by this incredible artist. If you guys love this artist or any other artist that you've seen on Blurred News, please be sure to like their content, share their content, give them a follow, give them a shout out, tell your neighbor, tell your mom, whisper it to your dog. Uh, just give them the love and support that, that they deserve. Um, and if you have any artists that you guys would like to see featured, send us their name and where we can find them. I'm Princess Sahita and this is Blurred News. And lastly, comic of the day is Black Adam issue number four. Black Adam is going four issues strong right now. A lot of you guys have been talking about this comic book. I want to see what you guys think about it. It has like a lot of feel and heart inside of it. The art is absolutely just crisp, just so cute. If you guys like it, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. Until next time, take it easy. Thank you.